What's up y'all? I'm back with another video. This is Journey with Wendy and I am Wendy. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, and please like this video and comment down below because um, your likes, <clears throat> excuse me, your subscriptions and your comments and your likes, they really help me out. So with that, um, as you can see by the title, I'm sure the title piqued your interest because you probably like, no, nah, you can't do that. It ain't possible. Uh, 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 uh. It ain't possible. Well, boom. Okay, it is possible. And I'm going to show you today that you can make roux for your gumbo in the microwave in less than 10 minutes. Boo, boo. So, um, and how I came about making roux in the gumbo making roux in the gumbo <sighs> making roux in the microwave is because i had an accident um i had made some roux in a non-stick non-stick skillet and i was using a uh, plastic content uh plastic wear as a matter of fact it's, it's right here still and so it burned but not only was this one burning, the other one that I had, it was like, cause that one I threw away. This one is in the trash too, but it was like burnt, burnt to where it was like, like literally like, you know, like this part wasn't curved anymore. So, um, yeah, so I had to go back to the store and I had to get some more supplies so I could make some root cause I was, um, planning to share some with a very special lady at my church. And so, um, yeah so i was just like well i can't use this uh because i actually like because i have it in i had it in a glass container but i didn't know that the container was still hot so i touched it i uh tried to pick it up and when i picked it up it was so hot that it spilt all over my counter and so y'all my counter was whoo child it was um it was disgusting it was uh like little bits of plastic pieces in it or whatnot. So I found some couple on YouTube and they, um, the, the gentleman, he showed me how to make roux in the microwave. And so I was like, it ain't possible. Um, cause at first I had tried to use Alton Brown's method and do it in a, in the, um, oven. It wasn't browning, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, well this is taking too long. And this was at 30 minutes. I'm like, okay, well this is take, taking too long. So I'm gonna just, so what I did was I just scratched i scraped it out of the pan and i just put it in the microwave and then from there it turned out and uh the roux was dark and it was flavorful and it was very very tasty so uh we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into the video so here i have my baking drippings from um when i make bacon uh here duh here at the house is what i was gonna say but when i make uh bacon i save the drippings because um keto flat flat oh my gosh fat equals flavor and fat is good for you so i just keep my bacon drippings and i like to get all the drippings like even the brown bits that's flavor boo go on ahead and get your get your bacon dripping on and then you'll need a glass container i have one one half i have half a cup it's actually a little bit more. So I would say about two thirds cup of um, bacon grease in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to melt it. And I have, uh, hopefully the paper towel stay over it. I don't think it is. It didn't. Oh my gosh. Cause I don't want it to be popping all over my microwave. So I'm gonna have it in here for 45 seconds. I have this gold metal Wondra quick mixing flour, all purpose, well it's enriched bleach, all purpose flour. I have that, um, I picked it up at Walmart for two, two, mm, it was like 247 or something like that. Something like that it was. And so, um, pick that up because I want to show you guys the difference that it could be done with because if I would have just been like oh you can do it in the microwave with regular all-purpose flour then y'all be like Psh, can't never seen it can't be done you didn't show us so I'm showing you both ways how to make it and so where my little thing so you want to ensure that you also have an oven mitt because uh the way this heat set up it's not too bad right now so I'm gonna take it, take it a little bit longer. I know I'm all in y'all way, my bad. 
So I'm gonna take it for another 30 seconds. And then when it comes out, I'm gonna start showing you, I know, uh, I'm gonna start showing you um, how I create, make roux in the microwave. So I started making roux um, right about 2013, I think. No. Yeah, 2013 I started making roux. Um, because uh the roots that i would buy they were so uh they were getting hard to find number one and then number two they were so uh it was just i didn't i didn't appreciate the flavor because it was so dark um i should have got a my other whisk but it is what it is at this point so um i have half a cup of the um all-purpose flour and um you don't want to just dump you can dump the whole thing in there but you'll be trying to get them clumps out for a long time and so gradually adding it is what i'm doing and so now i'm gonna add the rest it's actually not too it's just warm right now uh the handle but the the longer it goes the hotter it's gonna become and so you just really, I'm telling y'all, you really, really want to be safe when you're doing this root in the microwave um, because it could, it could end badly for you. And I know because I wasted liquid gold, okay? I wasted it and had to start, start again. So uh, what I typically do when I'm making the roux, um, you don't really need a, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, I need some more Clorox wipes. Well, my Sam's wipes. Ew, this one is so dark. Oh, it looks so good. So what you want to do, um, what I initially do when I make the roux in the microwave, um, you want to start out, you don't want to take it too hard, too fast. Okay, that's, that's the main thing that I want to tell you guys. Like, you don't want to go um you don't want to go for four minutes straight in the microwave because depending on you know the the um uh, the watts of your microwave you could burn it and then yes essentially making a root is burning the flour but you could burn it to where it's at the point of no return where you can't i normally uh do about a minute to a minute and 30 seconds um initially on the first go round because it's not going to um it's not gonna it's not gonna make a difference at this point really at this point you're just warming it up and so um going too hard too fast i mean you could do it and then you can let me know how it work out for you um and so even when you do the root on the stove you have to be patient but with this method that i'm showing you right now like i said it really is an only it really is less than 10 minutes. It really and truly is less than 10 minutes. And so as you can see, it's foaming. That's what you want. You want it to be foamy. And now I'm just stirring down the foam and I'm just stirring. Um, it did make a difference a little bit, but not much. So this was at a minute and 30 seconds. As you can see, it's not, the color ain't changed a lot at all like the color has like hardly changed so now i'm gonna do another minute and so i like to do minute increments until i get to five minutes because as you'll see here in a minute once we get to five minutes it's our it's dark like it's not like dark dark but um it's like uh i mean it depends on your microwave because it could be at a chocolate brown already at five minutes and so like you don't want to take it to where it's just, ugh, you don't want to take it to where it's like just, I, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend going past 10 minutes. You really don't need more than seven minutes um, if you do it the way that I'm showing you. So you get it, you do it. So like I said, um, the measurements that you really want to stay with is half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of either oil, clarified butter, which is also known as ghee, or bacon grease you don't want to use regular bacon because regular bacon doesn't have a, a high smoke point 
And so what happens with the regular bacon is when you try to, um, it'll just burn. So this is number two. So we're at two minutes and 30 seconds. You can hear that. You hear that? Two minutes and 30 seconds. All the oil and butter is incorporated very, very well. Oil and butter, tripping. Oil and um, flour is well incorporated. So now I'm gonna take it um, another minute and 30 seconds. So this is number three. Um, so this will be four minutes. And so um, you can kind of see the color changing, but not, not really. Um, it's not anything like, I would grab this one, but I'm afraid that I would burn my fingers like I did last time. Y'all, I grabbed that thing, and I, I, my senses, I, I stayed on it for a while, too. And I was like, hey, hurt. <laughs> that bad boy hurt. Oh, my gosh, just thinking about it. I'm having a flashback. So you take it, you know, um, minute by minute up until five minutes. And so you, like I was saying, cause I just forgot what I was saying. So that's why I reset what I just said, but you don't want to use regular butter because regular butter does not have a hot ink. You don't want to use regular butter. You don't want to use olive oil. You don't want, you don't want to use avocado oil. Like you don't, you don't want to use those kind of oils because your roux will end up taking on, um, it could possibly take on that taste of the olive oil, but also olive oil doesn't have a high smoke point either. You know what I'm saying? So you want to use something that has a high smoke point, which means that it won't burn in the microwave. Like it won't burn if you're trying to like fry chicken. Um, you don't want to use coconut oil. Like I have this right here too. I got this, my cocavo, cocavo, whatever, however you say it. I got that too. And then I also have this, but I don't want to use any of those because coconut oil, the smoke point isn't very high. And the, um, yeah, these, the smoke points on these things ain't that high. So, um, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see it? Mm. So the color is changing a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go for another minute and 30. I'm gonna go for another minute and 30. I might have to add a little bit more, um, I'm about to say glitter. I might have to add a little bit more uh, flour to it because um, I see it like a thin film of, uh, no, I see it over there too. So there's a thin film of oil on top. It's like this, that big. Oh, you can't see it but it's a thin film of oil on top and so um with that um i would like to add more flour but i'm gonna leave it as is i'm gonna just i'm gonna left it i'm gonna left it alone okay i'm gonna leave it be leave it be left it alone so um yeah so just stay tuned you know some of this some parts of this video is probably gonna be sped up um maybe maybe not but it all depends on you know how it's going but um yeah so doing roux on the stove and i've done one time it took me like an hour the first time i did it, it took me an hour and like 30 minutes i was so done son i was done because i'm just like this taking forever and then when i did it again on the stove here um it took 45 minutes because i turned the heat up higher but i was like that's still too long it's still too long. So, um, yeah, so now I make my roux in a microwave and just call it a day. You know what I'm saying? So now you can see that the, the color is actually changing. And so what you could do is you can just do minute, um, minute increments until it starts changing. See, as you can see, the color is changing. It's no longer the pale uh, yellow that we just had. And so I'm using a wooden spoon today. Uh, I think I might switch. So I was saying, originally I was saying, cause, um, cause I just did a, a different one. And so when that one got to five minutes for sure, it was, um, it was already like at the, the milk chocolate color. 
because I'm using um, regular all-purpose flour I think what before when I did it I was up to seven minutes seven to eight minutes and that's when it started changing so you can do minute increments um, but once like I said once it starts to once the roux starts to get that milk chocolate uh, color um, you really want to back off like because right now it's about this color but once it starts to get darker than that then you want to back off of doing a minute and you want to start to do 30 second increments um because burnt roux don't taste good and that's what i was purchasing um because i was recognizing i was like they just burning this roux and they were burning to the point of like no return like you couldn't it wasn't really edible like it wasn't good and so so you know now i'm in a place where i'm like i want to be self-sufficient and i want to do my own thing so as you can see now here it is the chocolate brown chocolate brown mm -mm. chocolate brown color oh you can't even see that the chocolate brown color that i was telling you about there it is boo and so now um it's not as chocolatey so i'm gonna go another minute i'm gonna go another minute and um i think that after this minute then i will go to 30 second um i am gonna go to 30 second mix 30 second increments after this one I'm going to it um, regardless of what color it is because I can already smell um, I can already smell that nutty roof I can already smell that nutty roof smell and so I you know because whether or not whether I use this or not like if I want to give it to somebody so they can um, have their own um, they can make their own gumbo I don't you know I want I want it to be pleasant for that person so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out it's got nine seconds left but I'm gonna take it out and you want to be very careful um, with it and as you can see like when I you see that film on top, but it's all good. It's still usable, you know, it's still, ah, I popped on my hand a little bit. So as you can see, now the flavor has changed the flavor. I don't even know what's happening. I just want to eat some gumbo. So now the color has changed uh, drastically. And so now I'm having it at 39 seconds. And at 39 seconds, um, you know i'm gonna take it out stir it um the other roux i have is really really dark um i don't know about this one and it's still hot too oh it's still hot and these um these containers that you use these glass containers that you use to make your roux in they stay hot for a long time so if you can just leave your root in there and allow it to cool off because if you don't then what's going to end up happening is that um you know you can end up burning yourself and i just you know don't don't be like me so as you can see how it separated the butter and the bacon drippings and the flour so i'm going to stir it and now it's becoming it's become much much darker so i surmise that means is that means to guess that i could probably go another two times with this because like i said i smell the nuttiness already but uh well, it probably could go more than that um i'm not a bacon oh, i'm not a roux maker like that so i don't know i just know that i don't like burnt roux um so i think you could probably go maybe another four times with this one but i think i might only go twice um and then i'm gonna call it a day and so i'm gonna show you what it looks like and then i'm gonna let y'all go mm-hmm booskies see this is what it looks like And so some people have their roux, they take their roux to where it looks like dark chocolate. I'm not one of those people. I don't like dark chocolate. Uh, so, and when I had bought the roux, I didn't like the dark chocolate roux. So that's why I don't take my stuff that dark. Um, 
and probably won't take my stuff that dark ever in life unless like unless like i was like unless i started like a making room a room making business now if i did it like a room making business that'd be something different then i would have all you know i would have a blonde room i would you know do a gravy room you know so now you see yeah i think that's about it and also what's going to end up happening is as it sits because it's um uh boiling as it sits it's going to continue to cook i'm gonna put it down here for y'all as it sits it's going to continue to cook and so by the time you know you're ready to either pour it in another container or you know whatever it is that you want to do it'll be um it's going to turn darker and so this roux right here oh i don't know why i did that with my hand it didn't hurt nothing like that but so this roux is the roux that is with the all all purpose flour oh i hope i don't drop it i just want to give you guys a side by side comparison oh and this roux i might take it a little darker hold on y'all hold that thought can't have almond flour doing us like that yeah, I'm gonna take it one more, one more 30 seconds. All it is, I'm gonna take one more 30 seconds. And then you could even get it to, you can even take it to um, 20 to 10 seconds. So I'm gonna actually take this for 20 seconds and then that's, that's gonna be that. So like I was saying, um, the reason why this looks like this is because it was actually boiling um bubbling up out of the container and like i said the container is still hot very very hot so this is the final version final version this is what it looks like and like i said they're still separated but once you swirl it together this is what it looks like and so that's it that's that's as far that's as fur as I'm going to take it. And so a side-by-side -side comparison, the, um, this is almond flour with ghee. And this one right here is almond flour with ghee. And this one right here is all-purpose flour. And so they're both very nutty. They both have that classic roux. My bad, y'all. So they're both very nutty. They both have that uh, classic roux um, smell. This one is more nuttier though. And this one just smells like regular roux. And if you don't, I don't, I can't describe it. But, um, so these are the two versions of roux that I made. Um, if you're keto, you know, you can have this. Um, if you're keto, you can have this, you know what I'm saying? You can make you roux if you want to every week. You know, it has your fat. Um, it has your ghee, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, you just do it however you want to do it. And so with the reason this one, uh, if depending on what I want to do with it, um, it will go into a container like this as well. And then I have the little tops for them. And so you can store it, um, as is, um, for maybe a month. You may can take it, take it longer than that. Um, but I'm not sure cause I never store it. I just always use it immediately um or you could um you know store it in the fridge for i would probably say for maybe three months in the fridge um i'm i don't know about freezing it i don't know how that would turn out i don't know you could try it but you know don't don't come at your girl if it don't work out and so with that this has been journey with wendy i am wendy new videos are posted every tuesday and thursday sometimes on wednesday and I thank you for being a part of my channel and for, you know, watching me. I hope that you enjoyed the video where I demonstrated both videos where I demonstrated to you how to make keto gumbo roux and regular gumbo roux uh, with almond flour and all purpose flour, clarified butter, aka ghee, and bacon drippings and so you know just stay tuned more videos like this are to come and if you like it please consider subscribing to my channel liking this video please give it a thumbs up and commenting and with that you know what that means i'm out